has 11 points, and he's drained three three-point bombs so far. Tell you what, he should not hesitate to keep firing from out there because he's got the touch tonight. So for Chicago right now, D. Rose and Jimmy Butler at the back. Inside at the four and five are Gasol and Noah. And it's Dunleavy in at the three. Shot clock at six. Lowry kicks to Johnson. From beyond the arc, that falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got three assists now in this one. Bulls trail by six. Outside Rose. That drops. Rose has got his second basket. Boy, they are just destroying them in the paint. You could say that again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. Derrick Rose, the 2011 MVP, but major injuries to his knees have cost him most of the last two seasons. Only time will tell if he's able to reclaim that elite status in the NBA. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. That'll be his second foul of the game. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Here's Gasol, blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Gasol's got eight. Toronto's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Lowry passes to Valanciunas, takes a three. DeRozan can't get that one to fall. Chicago trailing here. Rose kicks to Dunleavy. Back to Rose. This all set in the pick for Rose. And so he draws the foul on the shot on trip to the line to shoot two. Well, what was supposed to be the triumphant return for Derrick Rose a year ago quickly turned into another nightmare season. Finally returning from that torn ACL in the 2012 playoffs, he managed only 10 games before. Rose can come back and put in a Rose and this is to Patterson. There's the foul. It's on Patrick Patterson. That'll be his second foul of the game. A chance to look at uh, some of Mike Dunleavy's numbers here. How his season went last year. Last season, he averaged 11 points per game, four rebounds, and two assists. And some pretty good numbers, I think, guys, when you look overall at his contributions. Yeah, and he's always looking to raise his game, and that's what you see in his consistency. One of the important characteristics that he brings to the table. The shot's good from Gasol. Gasol's got 10. Another second chance bucket. I mean, that's like taking candy from a baby. Yeah, no excuses, Clark. I mean, at some point, you have to get focused and have all five defenders boxing out. Boy, you take a look at Rose, who was extremely patient, trying to get back to being on the court. And then he fell victim to another devastating knee Terrific blow for him personally and certainly for the team and the city. But fortunately, the surgery did manage to keep all of his meniscus, which provides a better prognosis as we move forward. Shaky defense down low again. It's been a mismatch in the paint. I'm sure they didn't go into this one expecting to get battered like they have inside. Three-pointer, Lowry. Chicago grabs the miss. Noah's got his third rebound on the night. And Steve, now for Derrick Rose. How will his game adapt to having surgery now on both knees? Well, he might not be quite as explosive, and maybe that's a good thing if his breakneck style was too much for his joints. But, you know, the mental side of it, that's what I look at. I mean, after missing basically two whole seasons, how is he going to bounce back? I don't know if it's just me, but he's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. His shooting has really suffered. There's the call on James Johnson. That'll be his second foul of the game. Lou Williams has checked in for Valanciunas. Lou Williams! Noah against Patterson. There's the foul. It's on Patrick Patterson. And that'll be his third foul so far. 14 foul. And the whistle blows in the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Here's the list of players who had the most deals in the NBA last season. You look at Butler. Posing teams always need to know where he is on the court. You know, there's no luck involved in being amongst the league leaders at steals. You've got to combine the toughness with the ability to move your feet and the tenacity in going after the ball. 
Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, Kevin Bulls coach Tom Thibodeau worked with Clippers coach Doc Rivers in Boston for many years, and they remain close friends, often sharing notes. Rivers said of Thibodeau, he's the best mind I've ever been around. People keep expecting them to fall, but he holds them together. It's his system, but it's more just his way. He simply doesn't relent, Kevin. He makes his players believe, Doris. That's something they both share in common. Thank you. Rose passes to Dunleavy. Gasol kicks to Buck. And taken away by Johnson. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. And a quick look at the year Pau Gasol had last season. 11th in blocks. And he did a lot of work on the glass, battling his way into the top 15 performers in the rebound category. And looking back for a second at his block shots per game average, Steve, I mean, his low post defense is phenomenal. I mean, I love watching him operate down there defensively. Boy, have they been hitting the glass hard or what? such a tight game. Yeah, you're right. Very rarely will you out-rebound an opponent like that and not have it pay off. Now, this is why the breakaway rim was invented. For plays just like that. Well, he almost brought the whole thing down, Clark, by hanging on that long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a great dunk and also a great game we've got here. King Zanoa, back to Gasol. We've got 123 left to play here in the third, and that one's good by Noah. That's exactly what happens when you give up offensive rebounds. They come back to bite you big. Yeah, you can't give NBA teams second and third opportunities. They're too good. These guys are going to score. So the whistle blows on the shot, and two free throws for the contact right there. You know that if you're a team in the East or anywhere in the NBA, for that man, you face the Bulls, it's going to be a battle wire to wire. These guys are coming at you for the full 48 minutes. They're extremely tough within the conference, too. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Johnson, he's checked in for Patterson. Ross comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Vasquez in for Kyle Lowry. Jumper off the screen. Again, Chicago. Well, the Bulls just seem built to play against every other team in the East. And it's why they've made the playoffs so often and finished on top in recent years. Johnson attacking. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And to add on with Chicago. Last year they won 35 games against the East, which was bested only by the Indiana Pacers. Well, that's more than Miami and other teams that finished above them in the standings. The Bulls are always a factor in the East, it seems. No good from Gibson. All the defender had to do there was just stay close to him, and he did. The kick out to Williams. Hits it from three-point range. And the Raptors lead by one. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. One heck of a game. I mean, guys, this has been outstanding in terms of the effort that both sides have been able to put out. I'm looking over there at Steve. He's enjoying every second of it, Mark. <laughs> yes, yeah, oh, me too. Man. This has been great, guys. And the fans getting their money's worth here. Both teams just playing so hard out there. Right on him. Deflects the pass. Williams kicks to Johnson. Goes back up. Got it off in time, but it's no good. 